sounds pretty much like a compressor because it is. Hey bike fam, I am out at the trail to show you this new little product. It is called an eflator by Fix Manufacturing. This little guy is going to replace this, or at least it is for us, and it can inflate just about anything that needs to be inflated. Let me explain. Slight change of scenery. <laughs> The inflator has a 2000 mAh battery, which is pretty powerful. You could fill, at least this is what the website says, nine mountain bike tires on a single charge. That's quite a few tires, to 30 PSI even. I would never personally fill my mountain bike tires to 30 PSI because they would be like bricks. Maybe some people need them to be like that. It has a USB-C charger. USB-C is the one that is sort of like a oval and you could plug it in either direction and it's kind of becoming more standard these days. You could either charge this at home with you know, a charging brick or in your car with a cigarette lighter. Is that what that thing's called? I guess that's what it's called. This thing is great to take with you on the road. There's a simple on and off switch right on the side. The inflator has four settings, car, motorcycle, bike, or ball. And each setting, the PSI is slightly different, but then you can go in there and customize it to what you want. The bike preset is at 30 PSI. That is 10 PSI, too much for me. I usually run uh, in my 29er either 20 to 22 PSI, depending on where I'm riding. Obviously, your tire pressure is gonna depend on your wheel size, your weight, and just really the conditions and how you like to ride your bike. Okay, what I found that works for me, at least on my bike, is I put this on the valve stem first, so it goes with the fat end down. And then once it's on there, then you can screw this part on. Okay, I'm on the bike setting and I'm putting it at 20 PSI. And let's start by pushing the M. So there is it stops exactly at 20. If I were to put this on, it would actually see the tire pressure that I had so I can kind of get an idea. And then, uh, you know, if I wanted a little bit more, I could up it and put more in. Another nice feature with the eflator is it has a light. So if you are in the dark <laughs> and you need to fill up your tire, you can uh, turn on the light and see what you're doing. The inflator only has two attachments, either a Shreda or a Presta. It's by default a Schrader setup, and then it has this tiny little attachment where you can use it on your bike that has Presta tires, which is what I have. But if you want to fill up anything else, you can buy this little kit from Amazon for six bucks. I'll leave a link in the description below. And you could fill up a soccer ball, a dodgeball, maybe your exercise ball. Really, whatever you can inflate, you could probably use this thing to fill it up. Maybe not your paddle board. That thing seems to take a long time to fill up with a much more powerful pump, so I'd probably not try to use this. This is pretty small, as you can see, the length of my hand. <laughs> but it's not really gonna replace your mini pump or your CO2 cartridges that you would carry on the trail with you. It's heavier, but I mean, if you wanna carry it, you can. It's not that you can't, it's just not meant for that. What it's really meant for is to replace that floor pump of yours. If you're in the market for a floor pump, they start around $50 and go on up from there. This is only $99 and it has so many more uses. To me, it's a better value than your traditional bike floor pump. I did buy this with my own money. Nobody gave this to me. This is on a sponsored video. I just wanted to give you an opinion of what I thought was a cool little product. So if you are in the market for a floor pump, or if you know someone that might need a new pump or has everything, think about getting them one of these. I'll leave links in the description below of where you can pick one of these up. But of course, always check your local bike shop first to see if they have it. Okay, you guys, that is all I have for you today. I will see you out on the trails or in the next video. Okay. One thing I forgot to mention is this is not gonna replace your floor pump. Your, it is gonna replace your floor pump. <laughs>